Okay, hello everyone, you're very welcome. Thanks for dropping by again. Right, I'm stuck in somebody's attic now. Um, this is a new build. I'm gonna put some uh, domestic radiators upstairs. Um, these are water filled and they've got a circulating pump out to a boiler, which is outside. Anyway, the plan now is uh, I need to crimp some fittings. I need to make some joints, uh, watertight joints. And this is how I'm making them now. There's lots of ways of making joints, but these are the, my fittings of choice currently, right? So essentially, I'm not sure you, there's two O-rings on that. They go inside the pipe. The pipe gets squashed onto these O-rings and you end up with a watertight seal. Uh, I mean, very, very effective. Um, so far, you know, so good, no leaks. <laughs> Touch wood. Okay, so here we go, right? What happens is this goes over the pipe, this goes into the pipe, and I use a machine, which I'll show you in a second, um, to affect the, uh, the squeeze, if you like, crimping. You know, so I'm going to crimp this um, ferrule onto that pipe. So the procedure uh, for doing that is we use one of these reamers, goes into the pipe, and it dresses the end of the pipe. Okay, so we end up with a chamfer on the inside edge to aid the, uh, the O-ring to slide in without getting pushed off. Okay, and that's it. It also um, widens the pipe um, to that diameter. Okay, and that should push in, which it does, you can see it go in, no problem. And I should be able to take it back out as well, without pulling the rings off, which I can. Generally what I do is I have the ferrule on already, that's the ferrule on, and I push the pipe on until I can see the pipe in the little hole. Um, where you can see white there in the hole, that's it. So that's it, that's ready for crimping. Okay, now I want to use this fitting, I'm not on this bit of pipe, so I can't crimp it but I'll show you how I crimp it in a second, um, just down below me. So remember, um, that goes on, that goes in, and if you're fit to do it, that gets pulled back in there. You could hear that snap, and that's on. Essentially though, this is the way the fitting goes on for me, usually. Right? I've already prepared the end, get the pipe, push the fitting on, and once you can see white in that viewing window, the little holes, that's it, it's ready for crimping. It means it's beyond the O-rings, and when you crimp the pipe then, you're squashing the, the, uh, the O-ring into position. Okay, now this is an expensive machine, you know. Uh, this is, I don't know, 1,000 euro, 1,200 euro, something like that. Um, essentially what it does is it, um, it squashes these jaws onto this, okay? And um, I can't make the connection now because I need that fitting. So what I'll do is I'll change camera positions and I'll show you how I do it um, just below. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'm in an awkward spot here. I'm not sure what you can see or, or even what you can hear. So okay, look, I've prepared this pipe. I've used my reamer inside here. And um, I'll just do it again, show you. So this can be quite awkward, these fittings. You know, with push fits, you can just push it on and you're kind of halfway there. These fittings are kind of um, more reliable because uh, they rely on the inside of the pipe, which generally isn't scored and that sort of thing on sites. The outside of the pipe, if you rely on that for O-rings, can be torn and uh, won't make a great seal, if any. Okay. Here's this fitting I showed you a little while ago. This is 16, 16 and uh, 20. So... Essentially, it's quarter by half by half, half on the branch. Now, what I need to do is I need to go on like this. This is 20 mil, this is 16 mil, and this one is 16 mil. Now, I know this is baby steps for some people, but look, if you've never done this before, this might be of interest to somebody. Okay, so this is pre insulated pipe, multi layer pipe. It's got an aluminium layer between the plastic, which pecks, cross ply, plex pegs rather and pegs on the inside as well and aluminium be between the two which means it holds its shape but look remember what I said these are viewing ports and I'm going to slide that in nice and easy and I can see the white um, pipe through that so this is my gun rams tool you can hire these I suppose and this is the 16 mil um, head for it it, and it rotates, you can rotate it to get the handle out of the way or whatever in awkward spots, it does help. Okay, so put that on, 
So this plastic shoulder sits into a rebate on the inside of the die, on the inside of this, the head. And I just pull the trigger and nothing happens. Here we go. And when it springs release you hear it and that's it. And if you look at it, I'll show you up close in a minute. But that's that's got two ridges on it and it's being squashed onto the pipe. Now it still rotates because it's on O-rings. So this is a tight seal, um, but a bit like a hose lock fitting, you know, for a garden hose or something. Um, so that's it. Now I want to do the three quarter, which is the 20 mil. Again, I get my um, my reamer tool, and uh, this is inch, three quarter, and half. So you, that's 16, 20, and 25 millimeters. So I use this one and prep the end of the pipe. Okay. That's it. Now I want this all the way in, and when I can see it in the locator hole, um, I'm done. That was just this one, which isn't done yet. I'll put that on in a minute. And then I have to slide these in. So there we go. We're all the way in to the locator hole. Now I have to change the head. That's the, uh, the slow bit. Well, it's not slow, but I've got to do it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this on and let you see that happen. And then I'm going to show how I, without, you know, major effort, how I figure out where to cut this pipe. I'll show you that now in a second. Hopefully you can see all this. Okay. Again, hopefully you can see it. So to change the heads, hit this little release. This one comes out. That's the 16 and the 20 goes in. Okay, so that's the head in. I just push this in and it locks in position. That's it. I'm ready now to do, the, do this fitting. So again... This plastic uh, ridge goes on the inside. Let's see if you can see that, right? So it's not like this. The plastic, ridge, the plastic ridge actually goes within it. Now, that was a misfire. So I can release it here by pressing in on the spring, right? And then I can open it again. Okay, I've opened it fully. So this goes over it with the plastic ring inside the, uh, the head and then I pull the trigger and when you hear that click that's it it's done it's magic okay so now we have two watertight connections there and there 20 mil 16 mil but I need to attach the, the branch on now so how do we do that okay the, there isn't always movement on the pipes but on this one well it's quite tight so we're or cut for space as well. Now, you can get a pencil and mark it if you want, generally. Maybe you can see this, I'm not sure. The edge of the, uh, the plastic, the plastic um, I don't know what you call it, the plastic ring is there. And where I, I put the pipe actually sits into it. So I'm gonna allow to the shoulder. Okay, so, if you do that, we're on the shoulder, set it up on your pipe, and again, I gentle pressure and I rock it through. Right, and it stops me flattening the pipe. So now I have to prepare the end of it. Okay, so here's our little um, reamer. Goes in and rotate, and it prepares the end of the pipe for the, for the fitting. Okay. Now. Here's the little ferrule that came off it. And I push that on. That's it. We have a 16 mil head now. It's on like this. And that's it, one watertight fitting. All three sides done, and the white pipe is showing in all three sections. So that's it. Okay, so these fittings are really, really good. Very good, but the downside is these are expensive, and you need one of these to, um, to run it. 
crimp fittings very very good um, fantastic success rate with them sometimes they can be very hard to get in sometimes you know you can't get that machine in whereas you could get a nut and ring compression fitting in these are the jaws um, maybe you can see how they're fixed up inside and uh, that's it that's how they make the joint so uh, it squashes down and clamps it uh, leaving noticeable ridges on the actual ferrules on these guys so you can tell when one has been done uh, you won't pull them apart anyway um, and that's it so that's how you do uh, fittings in situ um, this particular one not so hard to get to a um, bit awkward but you know because it's in behind in, in the the void space um, under the portal okay so that's it if you like the video want to see more of them please subscribe and like i'll see you in the next video <laughs> bye for now bye